Tonight, we continue our team coverage of all the flooding in southeastern Kettle Lad. One of the hardest hit areas is McCook Lake in North Sioux City. Several homes were swept off their foundations and collapsed in the high water after the state built a berm to try and redirect some of that flooding. Residents say that it happened so fast that there was little time to react. Um, as soon as they put the berm up, the um, water just started coming through the field over here. And it's, you could just see it seeping and then it just came up. And when the like five minutes looked out the front door and it was a river of water already coming through. Emergency personnel say that they haven't had a chance to count exactly how many homes have been destroyed or damaged by the floodwaters. Uh, when a natural disaster strikes like what they're experiencing right now in Union County, the state activates what's called the IMAT team. It's an acronym for, it stands for Incident Management Assistance Team. And today we got to go behind the scenes to see how the IMAT team is helping people in McCook Lake. When something like this happens, it can create a flood of problems for first responders. That's when the IMAT team comes in. It is not our role to come in and take over for anybody. It's our role to come in and help and, and do those things that, that they need help with. For instance, you know, we knew we were going to have evacuations, so it would be looking at um, do we have a shelter where we can send people to? What are we going to need at that shelter if we have to send people? The IMAT team is made up of a number of people from various backgrounds, including law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency managers from across the state. When those disasters happen, they can be very overwhelming. And what we try to do is to support those local emergency managers and local first responders um, to help bring some of that calmness, some of that organization to the chaos. The IMAT team navigates all the logistics like monitoring critical infrastructure and provide timely and accurate information to the public and media. It's a behind the scenes effort that the public never gets to see, but homeowners are grateful for the response. The emergency people have been great, the sheriff department has been great, the police department has been great controlling the traffic. Um, we got a lot of people, onlookers from Sioux City coming over. Um, I'm just asking for them to stay out because a lot of these people need their privacy. They're going through a lot, of, a lot of heartache right now. The IMAT team was first formed in 2006 and has responded to a number of disasters across the state.